What's going on world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. Let me say up front, this will be a quick video and I have covered most of this before, but after further discussions with some of the greats of the dog world, my views have adjusted a bit. Now when someone sends me a picture of their dog and asks what bloodline or breed he or she is, I always give the same answer, and that is, it's nearly impossible to identify a dog's bloodline with 100% accuracy, especially when the dog has no paperwork. And even with paperwork, it could be hard to know for sure because there are so many fraudulent breeders out there who have no problem hanging paperwork. Even mislabeling DNA samples can be done before sending them out, but I'll leave that topic for another video. Today I want to talk about the word pit bull and exactly what this term means. Let me say first, there is only one true pit bull and that is the American Pit Bull Terrier. Now there has been many breeds or even mixed breeds developed over the years that have unfortunately been categorized as being pit bulls. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier to the untrained eye can sometimes be confused for a pit bull. They do share the same ancestry after all. Most people agree that the American Staffordshire Terrier on the other hand came directly from the Pit Bull Terrier. I would agree for the most part, but not 100% because again, no matter how close I follow the pedigrees, I can never know for sure unless I witnessed each and every breeding take place with my own eyes. It should be said that there is still in some cases a gray area between the Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. Breed standards can differ depending on registry. For example, the American Dog Breeders Association is in my opinion the best standard for the true American Pit Bull Terrier. The true Pit Bull is a fighting dog, and like it or not, dog fighting is still a reality all over the world. A lot of true American Pit Bull Terrier enthusiasts still refer to these game dogs as bulldogs. Now a lot of the pit bulls registered with the United Kennel Club resemble more of an Amstaff but without the nose color restriction. According to the American Kennel Club, the American Staffordshire Terrier should have a black nose. These dogs were for the most part bred for looks instead of function. Now when it comes to the UKC and ADBA pit bull, there has been many registered dogs, whether legitimate or not, who were too large according to the breed standard. Most feel like these dogs were mixed. Either way, this eventually led to the development of two more breeds, the American Bully and later, the Working Pit Bulldog. I have plenty of other videos that go further into each breed, but the main point I'm trying to make here is that the term Pit Bull is used two completely different ways in our society. True dog men, or those who are involved in the original sport, feel like the term should only apply to American Pit Bull Terriers who have proven their abilities in battle. The rest of society uses the word pit bull as a general term for all of the breeds I just mentioned. Some even throw other breeds under this umbrella as well, such as the American Bulldog, the Boxer, and the Dogo Argentino, just to name a few. I personally don't like that, and that's the reason I first started my channel. In my opinion, the original pit bull terrier should remain in a lane of its own, and kennel clubs should do a better job screening dogs for registration. As far as people contacting me to help identify their dog's breed or bloodline, I say what for? Just enjoy having a dog. If you want to use pit bull as a general term, nobody can stop you. I personally don't agree, but it's your dog. Another thing to mention, and I know I've said this a hundred times, but not everybody has the right to breed dogs. So many people who contact me can't even identify their dog and yet ask, well, how can I get papers? Or do you know where I can find a stud for her? We should leave the science and the art of breeding to the true professionals who only breed the best of the best. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like this video, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also, feel free to visit BattlebredK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. I will see you guys next time. I love you all. God bless.